Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about how The Rock is about to play Mark Kerr in the new A24 buy-up movie. So, here's the thing. If you've ever watched my channel, you know I'm all about representation. I'm all about people playing their races and stuff like that realistic people playing their races. I could care less about a fictional character. Mark Kerr is not a fictional person. He is a MMA like, you know, legend and stuff like that. And, you know, why this whole representation thing matters is because people want to see themselves on screen. People want to be represented in their thing. You know, this all started back with the whole Black Lives Matter movement when black people was dying in the streets. And they're talking about like how America needs to be woke, using that term for the first time in slang terms, which pretty much means, you know, the struggles that like, you know, people of color have to go through and how nobody wants to listen to us and stuff like that. This trickle over into Hollywood where they started using the term for their movies and started casting more people of like diverse backgrounds being that of people of color, women and LGBT in so many of their projects. This started a firestorm in Hollywood where some people like it, some people don't. And it's led to some people getting recast for shows they've been on for years because they were white actors voicing that of people of color. We saw this with Family Guy, The Simpsons, and now with the X-Men um, 97 cartoon that's about to come out because the X-Men in the 90s had Jubilee voiced by a white woman and she's supposed to be Asian. And, you know, I've always said representation matters, you know, like people just want to see themselves respected on like TV and movies and they want their, 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 their characters to be portrayed, you know, by the right ethnicity and everything. And once Hollywood starts going backwards, back to only cast on white people or other people who aren't that real color, it is a problem. It's been a problem for many times, like Disney Channel had this one supposed Mexican family show, but they had one white actress and one Italian actress playing the Mexican character. And people who are like, um, I guess you could say exotic looking, like um, ethical rise and everything, got some color in their skin. They can portray pretty much any kind of character in Hollywood. The Hollywood is all like, oh, you're Italian? Well, you can play an Asian person. Oh, you're Italian? You could probably play a Mexican person. See, it's like that because they have a certain skin tone. And I don't like that, period. And when it comes to The Rock, I'm a fan of his wrestling, but I've never been a fan of his acting. And so, like, he is now about to play Mark Kerr. A lot of people are really excited about this. However, while I do not hate The Rock, like I've stayed that many times, it's just his acting I can't get behind. I don't understand why he's playing a character who's realistic, who like, dude's real in real life, like Mark Kerr is. But Mark is half Irish, half Puerto Rican. And of course, if he's Irish, most likely he's probably white. So he's white and Puerto Rican. The Rock is not. The Rock doesn't have none of that in him. The Rock is half black, half Samoan. And we've seen this in Hollywood plenty of times before where, you know, like they're supposed to be like, you know, Hawaiian uh, movies, but they're cast by like light skinned Hawaiian people or white people who's mixed with a little Hawaiian and stuff like that. Or like, you know, you have to have like a Native American movie and there's white people cast for that. And, you know, it's an up story. Like it, it pisses people off. And I don't care what race you are. Like, if there's a character that's supposed to be a Pacific race that's like real and everything, they need to be played by that real person. There are plenty of like Puerto Rican people who could have played this role. Plain and simple. Could Hollywood, could A24 not find these people? They're everywhere and stuff in Hollywood. And if not, just like do a casting call in Puerto Rico. Somebody who, like, you know, who could put on the weight, learn the moves and like learn to act. 
And so I don't understand why Hollywood is going backwards. Now I'm sure, um, you know, the, the rock has like the family's blessing and Mark's blessing and stuff like that. But for me, it's just kind of like, why, like, why go backwards in Hollywood? You know, Hollywood was going forward in a very good way, you know? And The Rock does not look Puerto Rican and everything. He doesn't even look like Mark Kerr. So it's like, why is he playing a Puerto Rican superstar? Like, you know what I'm saying? I do not get that. And I don't care if the person's white, black, Hispanic, um, Asian, whatever. But if the role calls for like, you know, a Puerto Rican actor, um then let a puerto rican actor play this person like you know like i don't get that crap and i'm sure if like somebody was making a movie about the rock and say they cast somebody that was not black or not samoan he would be pretty upset like he just had that television show called little rock and they casted a samoan person to play that role, at least I think they did. Or they might have cast Maui, you know, I'm not really sure. But anyways, I'm pretty sure they came as close as they could to casting the real thing. And, you know, a lot of people are happy for The Rock getting this role because see, here's the thing when it comes to The Rock and his acting. When he left wrestling for acting, everybody wanted a piece of The Rock. He was in pretty much every type of movie you can think of. And he even appeared in some television shows. But then Hollywood and the audience opened their eyes and realized something. The Rock can't act. And the majority of the movies he's been in have either like bombed financially or critically. And they get their mixed reviews and this and that. So at some point in time, Hollywood started to kind of slow their roll a little bit when it came to casting him in some stuff. And so at some point, he created Seven Bucks, which is his production company. So this was the smartest thing he did in his Hollywood career because he produces this stuff with his ex-wife. So basically, it's like this. When other studios want to make movies or he wants to make one, you know, he can pitch the idea to them. They can collab and everything. And he plays the star. Not only does he play to his strengths because, you know, his acting is the way it is, but he can play to his strengths and everything. So not only is he going to make tons of money playing a character as the lead, but he's also going to get money for uh, like producing it and stuff like that. So the man is going to be super rich for an extremely long time. And that is smart. And so, you know, so he's been doing that for the last couple of years. That's why a lot of um, the stuff he's um, been in have been produced by seven bucks and everything. His shows, his movies, um, you know, every once in a while, Hollywood does come back to get him for certain things. Like when he was in G.I. Joe, but that didn't work out. Fast and Furious, it did work out until he had beef with Vin Diesel. But then he had that hop spinoff and that didn't work. And, you know, but the last couple of movies he has made has been under his production company. So, A24 has come a-calling, and they want him to play Mark Kerr. But once again, Mark Kerr is Puerto Rican and white, and The Rock is not. And so, I already know what's going to happen. Nobody's going to care. Like, nobody's going to care at all because of the simple fact, it's The Rock. However, here's the thing. For all the people that like hop online whether it be social media or youtube and they always say representation matters and they always say they want like people of a specific race to play that specific character and everything for all those people who champion that if they turn a blind eye to this and say eh, i don't care because it's the rock then they are hypocrites and everything why do they do all that complaining in the past if they're not going to complain right now and represent like I said before in the past, however many times I say this in the video, it matters and stuff. Like it really truly matters. And because like take Muhammad Ali. Could you imagine if somebody other than like a black person would have played him in that movie Will Smith was in? People would have been outraged and stuff. 
and people should be outraged. The, the Rock should just like take a back seat. He's still making movies. He's still going to make tons of money. He's going to be in the last Fast and Furious movie because him and ben, Vin Diesel have patched things up long enough for them to make that movie together. He doesn't need this movie. If he wants to produce it, fine. But I don't understand A24's logical thinking with this. They could have found any Puerto Rican actor to play this person. But yet they went with the like the biggest, richest person in Hollywood and to bring in like seats. But the thing is, is like hopefully he will do a good job in this movie. Cause if not, because a lot of people are getting kind of burnt out of the rock in his acting. Black Adam should have made billions of dollars, but it did not in there, I think. And there was no real controversy surrounding that movie. So it should have made tons of money. But of course, he just played himself in that movie and it irritated people. And he didn't put much effort into portraying that character the way it was supposed to. And he tried to take over DC. So since then, you know, people have just been kind of like, eh, to the rock lately and stuff. And now he's about to make that Moana, like, M Marana, <laughs> Moana, uh, live action, like, movie from that Disney animated movie he was in. But people keep saying, why are you making this? Nobody asked for this movie. And you only want to make it because you voiced the character. And now you want to be in something live action because he has to rebuild his reputation for the stink of Black Adam and everything. And this will help as well, but it's kind of like, once again... He's not showing he's a versatile actor. Like, I don't like John Cena or Batista when it comes to acting, but at least they will try different things and not just play the big strong guy and everything. Like, The Rock used to do that back in the day when he was in, I think it was called So Cool or something like that. Uh, it was something that John Travolta was in. And he actually played a character that was nothing like how he is in real life. And I can respect that, even though his acting still wasn't good. But I can respect the fact that he played somebody that was completely different from him. Here, he's just playing an athlete, so this is right up his alley. But my main problem is he is not white and Puerto Rican, and he's about to play a realistic person. And my problem is, you know, representation matter. Now, like I said before, I'm sure Mark Kerr could care less and everything. He's just probably happy this movie's getting made by him. But for the love of God, why couldn't they just find a Puerto Rican actor, bulk that person up, teach them some MMA moves, hopefully they know how to act, and let it be, let it be. And like I said before, I am very curious to see if like all these people who complain about representation and how it matters when they complain about other stars, are they going to be pissed at The Rock? Especially those that like The Rock. Because remember, Emma Stone, she played like a Hawaiian person in that one movie and she's white. Scarlett Johansson was about to play a transgender man, but she bowed out because of the backlash. She played an Asian character and she got criticism for that. And like, there's been other celebrities that one who played like Jasmine, she's like half white and something else. And people said she was too light skinned and they got upset about that. They're upset about the cast of like, you know, the live action Lilo and Stitch because of how light skinned everybody is. And that, and let's not forget about like last airbender that was supposed to have like Asian people in it. And they cast a bunch of white people and Indian people made the Indian people like, you know, the villains and stuff. So I am curious to know if The Rock is going to get any kind of backlash from this. And if he doesn't, then people are hypocrites because you complained in the past. But now because it's The Rock, you just don't care. Alrighty. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.